for so many decades, the highway was just this stark concrete thing in every American city. So this is the what we're looking at is the master plan for the Selman Greenway. Yeah, I'm seeing pickleball, table tennis, dog parks, walking paths, bike trails. I mean, yes. this is incredible. Is how far away is this from reality? So we're just starting. We just got the master plan approved a few months ago. We're looking at a couple of concepts on how to do chunks of it at a time um, because it's not a toll because it's not a toll part of our facility. Mm. We have to use it in the lowest waterfall of our finances in terms of all we've met all our other requirements and that capital investment. If it's part of something on the tollway, then you can do it a little bit differently. But we're also actually have a plan where we've we've already applied for two or three federal grants to implement some of this. The reconnecting community grants are great for that. You know, and, and there's a lot of really cool grant programs out there in the infrastructure bill that are great for these types of things. And we can bring some of our capital and then stretch it. But you think about these you gotta areas. you got to bring some of that federal money home. Yeah. Bill. Come on, man. But you think about these areas <laughs> and incorporating things like spaces for food trucks. And, right. You know, they're, it's just. It's it, a part of the city. Yeah. It shouldn't be a barrier. You, you shouldn't have to feel like. Oh, well, I, I, I really want to Uber. I don't want to go from Channel Side to Ebor. You should feel like it's one fluid right. distance. And this is a way to accomplish that. I, I really believe it is. And then it's about connectivity. How do we connect to the Riverwalk? We're doing that through Fry Park. But also, how do you... So th the challenge that I've given our organization is that we have served this community for 60 years. The next 60 years, I want us to be integrated and part of the community with the services that we're delivering. And so that's just a different mindset and it's a different way of kind of doing business. So it really is. And it's not the way a majority of the public thinks about the highway system. Be there's, there's negative connotations around it. it for really good reasons. Like I said, you know, they're concrete, they're big, they're noisy, they're, they're, there's traffic. A lot of people's most stressful part of their day mm -hmm. is on a highway system. Sure. You know, how do you balance that? out and, and make it a more enjoyable experience for not only the people using the highway, maybe they're cutting through Tampa, mm -hmm. but also now that Tampa is not just a drive through downtown, it's a destination downtown. Right. This is such a big part of that. I'm so glad that this was on the radar. It, it's, it's really a cool way that we're envisioning. And we've got really good partners in this, in this region. You know, FDOT does a great job. The city's working really closely with us. The county's working really closely with us. Because at the end of the day, the people that use our system, the people that we serve, they don't know most for the most part and don't care who owns the road that they're on. Right. They want to get to where they want to get to, mm -hmm. and they expect us and FDOT and the city and the county to all work together mm -hmm. to help them get there. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening, you know. So FDOT is, uh, serves on our board as well, and, you know, they're doing some really cool things too. Absolutely. Amazing. So the master plan has been approved. Is there a time projection you could give for a completion? We're going through our, our budget process now. So, you know, the goal is to make continual investment over the next 10 years in those underpass pieces. Um, so the next one, that the, the first piece that you'll probably see is right around USF and Camels, where we're going to kind of recreate some spaces there. We're actually going to create, so it was a really cool environment there where Expressway gets a little bit low and then there's kind of these hills. So we found right. a space over by USF Camels that's like a quiet space under the Expressway. So what we're going to do there is actually create an area where like an outdoor meeting space where we'll put AV technology in there. Like you can plug your bike in and do a community meeting under the expressway. How cool is that? And then really um, like biohabitats and gardens and those types of things on top of pickleball courts and places right. for food trucks and dog parks. If you enjoyed this clip, click here for the full episode and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.